the children allows the place itself to speak to him or her. The pilgrim is one who doesn't just take a quick glance, but one who listens. So, as a pilgrim, listen to the sites you visit, the holy places where you go, and let them speak to you. Again, we could describe the difference as being this. If you are just a sightseer or tourist, you pass through a place. If you are a pilgrim, the place passes through you. So those are some thoughts about the differences. Let the sight talk to you, listen, be silent, and let the holy place pass through you rather than you just passing through it. Perhaps people have other thoughts about what it is to be a pilgrim. Yeah. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm amazed that Egeria lasted as long as she did in the city. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Right. I'm, I have to, I don't know, I think, it was, I think it was yesterday, I think it was my being falafel. I don't know how many people heard that story, but uh, we don't need to go into it right now, but it, I just... Oh, some tell us. <laughs> 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 We're all eager to get them all. <laughs> there was a certain group of, of uh, priests and laity that were out for a, a walk in the city and decided that a falafel would be a good thing to have and we fell for the oldest trick in the book. We, we, we thought that someone was out of their generosity and you were moved to offer us a, uh, a falafel but then we were basically bullied into paying ten times the price for the falafels than, uh, than one would normally expect to pay. Yeah. But uh, Oh, it's just it's somehow I may have reached sort of a saturation point of the of being in the city and just all the sights, the smells, the sound. It's just somehow I'm being overwhelmed by it right now, whereas I I was excited by it at first. And I'm sure if I if I stayed here long enough, maybe I would push through that. But I I've, I've definitely hit some sort of Jerusalem wall <laughs> all around out there. But, uh, Anyway. Father, the antidote is an hour in the Austrian hospice. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've had to do that uh, twice now, yeah, each in the last yeah, two yeah, days. I'm told that that is a very pleasant place yeah, to have yeah, a yeah, yes, yes, I do. I had other things to do this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I went to the Russian excavations, which I found very interesting. But um, when I disclosed to them that I stayed there in 1962, they immediately made me come into the special room which is full of portraits of uh, members of the Russian imperial family mm -hmm. and they sat me down on the velvet uh, chair <laughs> there and I had to write in their special book of visitors mm -hmm. so I was treated with uh, unexpected honor there mm -hmm. as an old resident <laughs> <laughs> Well, they actually, they took a photograph of me as well, yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>